I was checking out the Photoshop Elements Facebook page this morning and saw this posting down here by Santa looking for help on how to create uh, some textured text. I thought that's pretty easy to do. So why don't I create this quick video and kind of show how this technique can be accomplished. First, let's bring Photoshop Elements up. I'll start right here in the editing environment. Do a file new, blank file and um, kind of set whatever parameters. Maybe let's start with 500 by 500. And of course we want to do this in color, so we'll set it to RGB color and start off with our background contents as transparent and just hit OK. So here we've got an image. Uh, first thing we want to do is maybe find a couple textures to play with. So I'm going to go over here in my project bin. And instead of showing open files, uh, I'm going to scroll down in my album list and find an album that uh, has some interesting textures in it. So there we go, textures. So we'll just bring up some textures and, I don't know, scroll down, maybe find uh, a couple interesting ones to use. We'll just drag three or four up here, and then we can play around with them a little later to get some interesting looking text. Uh, maybe uh, maybe this rusty one. There we go. So you can see as we drag new layers each time, or, or drag, I'm sorry, drag images up from our project bin, um, Photoshop Elements goes ahead and creates new textures for us. Uh, so I'm going to start with that. Let's see, I'm going to hide these two and maybe start with the red one. Uh, first thing I want to do is resize it to fit this document that I created. So I can just kind of drag it out, uh, make it big enough, and then accept that. And Elements will go ahead and resize it for me. Now what I want to do is make some text. Uh, so let's use that red one as our background. Let's use this layer as our texture for our text. Um, get rid of this kind of goopy stuff on the right and get some kind of cleaner yellow just by dragging things over to the left. And uh, let's go ahead and make a new layer by clicking the New Layer button and adding some text. So I'll grab my text tool over here on the left. Uh, pick a font, font, font size, all those kind of good things. Uh, we can just go ahead and leave it black for now and uh, type, type a letter. Accept that and with my Move tool Maybe kind of move it around and resize it. So I've got, grab the corners, here we go. Resize it by just dragging the corners to get it to be the size that I want. Something like that. Move it where I need it, maybe a little left, and then go ahead and accept those changes. Now there's a couple ways to get this texture, this yellow kind of crackly paint look, applied to my font layer. I'm going to show you one way first, which is using a new feature in Photoshop Elements 9 called Layer Masks. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and select my text layer over here on the right. I'm going to grab uh, my uh, magic wand tool and then just simply click on the letter B. And you can see the magic wand tool has automatically done the selection for me. Everywhere there's black here, it's gone ahead and, and made that selection. Now if I switch to my yellow texture layer, just by clicking on that layer in the Layers panel, and then clicking on this icon down here, right here we've got this um, Add Layer Mask icon. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you can see what it's done is based on where I had that selection made, it's gone ahead and added a layer mask. And the way layer masks work is everywhere there's white, you can see that layer everywhere there's black that part of the layer is hidden. Now I'm going to hide my text layer and you can actually see how that's working, right? So the B, based on this layer mask, is actually showing through uh, where it's white and where it's black, uh, it's hidden. So that's a really easy way to sort of start and create that texture. Uh, if I grab my Move tool and try and move this layer around, you see I can actually put it anywhere on my image that I want. So I'll maybe just move it a little left. The next thing I want to do is uh, add an effect. So if we switch back here to uh, our browser, you can see the effect uh, that Santa's looking for is sort of this bevel uh, 
chiseled into the document effect. So up here in my effects panel, from this pull down list of layer effects, I can select bevels. And there's lots of different bevels. I'll just grab this one. And it's a simple drag and drop on top of that uh, B to add an effect. Now it starts off with an effect of uh, popping out of the page. If I want to change that, I just come over here, double click right there, brings up my style settings panel. And instead of up, I want to go down. So you can see that just kind of changes it. Now it looks like it's a chiseled in effect. And I can mess around with a couple settings, right? I can make it really big, I can make it smaller, I can, you know, just kind of fine tune this to get the exact look I want. So maybe 10 pixels, maybe even just a little less. Let's try 8. Uh, it looks kind of interesting. The other thing I can do here in my style settings panel is add a glow. So I'm going to expand the glow and click on that. And I'm going to add an outer glow. Maybe make it uh, a little bigger. Maybe not quite that big. Just a little bit of outer glow. I can pick various colors. If I didn't like a sort of uh, yellow glow, I can, you know, I don't know, make it green if I want. Um, any kind of color you want. Let's go back maybe to yellow. I kind of like the yellow a little bit better. And uh, hit OK. So now we've got an outer glow. We've got uh, a... Uh, We've got a bevel for our text. We've got a texture on our text, all that kind of good stuff. We'll just go ahead and hit OK. And we can continue to mess around with different things. If instead of this kind of reddish background, let me drag this rust layer down below uh, my texture text layer and show it, you can see there I've got a completely different look. Uh, to kind of get something maybe a little more like uh, Santa was looking for, this kind of greenish background, uh, I'll just go ahead and switch to a different album that I have. Uh, maybe let's pick some flowers. And uh, again, just drag and drop from my project bin up into my main document. Uh, Photoshop Elements goes ahead and adds that layer for me. I can move it around. So maybe let's kind of do something way over here. Get mostly green and just a little bit of purple. Uh, something like that. I'm going to go ahead and turn off these other layers even though they're hidden by my flowers layer. And then to give it that softer look, I'm going to select my flowers layer. I'm going to go to Filter. I'm going to go to Blur and select Gaussian Blur. Elements tells me that I need to simplify this layer, so I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And then my Gaussian Blur dialog box pops up. Uh, make sure previews checked so I can actually see it in my main document. And then just play around with the slider to control how much blur you want. You can crank it way up or way down or kind of anywhere in between to get just the look that you're looking for. Something like that. Okay. So there you go. That's how you get a 3D textured look on top of uh, text. Take care.